Baxter and uh, for holding this important hearing. Welcome back, uh, Madam Secretary. As you know, U.S. seaports are economic engines that drive growth for the nation. U.S. seaports activity generates more than $320 billion a year in federal, state, and local revenue. Could you please address how the President's infrastructure plan will help seaports continue to grow and support the nation's economy, and specifically how it will help facilitate the modernization of the nation's shipping channels? Well, the ports are part of the infrastructure, and so they are part of the proposals that will be addressed by the local and state governments. We're not in, so yet they're not excluded. Okay, so you plan to uh, fund uh, projects that uh, have received no allocations of federal funds to date that put forth well, their own money as they partnered with cities and states like the dredge in Miami. The budgets for the transportation department will still be ongoing. So whatever monies are there for uh, you know, highways, transit, rail, ports are still there. It's the infrastructure money is on top of that. And uh, so um, the ports have uh, access to Tiger grants. They have access to these um, maritime grants even, and the infra grants as well. Okay. On top, of, on top of the regular funding that the department puts out. Good, okay. Uh, along with our nation's roads and bridges, the majority of our public schools are now reaching the end of their 40 to 50 year life cycle. America's public schools are the nation's second largest public infrastructure investment after highways and bridges, but investments in school infrastructure have lagged. Sadly, this infrastructure plans make no mention of public schools despite the fact that the president has talked about it. Do you feel school facilities as a part of a, should be a part of a comprehensive infrastructure investment package? Uh, one of the congressmen asked about um, the hardening of the schools and what is the federal role in that. And uh, so I addressed on how devastating the recent tragedies have been to our nation. Um, and I said that I don't, you know, I will bring that concern uh, back to the White House and to the President. He's obviously very concerned about this issue. I don't know how this fits, but clearly the hardening of our schools is an issue that was discussed in the televised uh, meeting that the President had with the survivors, the relatives, and... Um, what I'm talking yeah. about is uh, buildings, classrooms, laboratories, equipment, uh, learning uh, labs, updating old buildings, not necessarily just a hardening. Is that something that um, uh, you yeah, would Yeah, I be, don't know, sorry. Is that something that you would bring up as far as a comprehensive infrastructure investment package, schools, aging schools that are 50 and 60 years old? There are 12 agencies that are involved in this. As I mentioned, I'll be more than glad to bring it back to the White House. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> My mantra in Congress has been jobs, jobs, jobs since the first day. And I was pleased to learn that the administrators, administration's infrastructure plan contains some workforce development proposals, including expanding Pell grants to cover short-term cert certificate programs and increasing apprenticeship. However, the details were scant. Can you elaborate on the administration's plan to tackle workforce development? We're actually going to be facing a very tight market. You know, to build infrastructure is actually quite a skilled, um, it's, it's a skill, it's a trade, a uh, skill that uh, we are, we don't have enough of, which is why the workforce development and retraining and training provision was put into the infrastructure proposal. Uh, the details are to be fleshed out in conjunction with the Congress. We sent principles rather than legislative language in a show of, um, I think, deference and also um, partnership with the Hill that we want to work on these things. Thank you. Uh, Matt, <coughs> Chairman Schuster, I have additional questions. Can I 
submit them. Yes, the you may submit them right. Follow up because we're out of time. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Wilson. Uh, Mr. West.